the start of spring does come all the color that, you know, obviously uh, we, we're known to have. Well, look at this. Yeah. Like these are the colors of, of nice spring. Colors. It's nice to see them bloom. Uh -huh. Well, as temps warm up and flowers do start to bloom, you may be thinking about repainting some of those personal spaces. Yeah, you know, you're getting into that spring cleaning. You're like, mm -hmm. well, freshen things up a little bit. Well, that's why every year Portland's Miller Paint releases their spring color trends. And we've got some great ideas for you this morning. Joining us live with more on the hues in bloom this season is Pooji Sharer, VP of Marketing, Color and Brand with Miller Paint. Good morning, Pooji. Good to see you. Hi, you guys. Great to see you, too. Okay, so I'm so excited to dig into this. I feel like spring is that time of year where you look around, you want to throw the windows open, mm -hmm. freshen things up. Tell us about this year's 2022 spring color trends. Absolutely. Well, I agree with you. Spring is actually the favorite time of year at Miller Paint because it is the kickoff to paint season. This year, we're really taking our cues from nature for our spring color trends. So, so many of us have reconnected with nature over the past two years, be it, you know, taking long walks in Forest Park or spending more time cultivating our gardens. And we're really drawing inspiration um, from our gardens and from nature this year. You know, being close to nature has really helped us promote well-being, reduce our stress, and disconnect from the virtual world. So taking cues from nature, we're really focusing on greens for our spring color trend. And we've got four colors that can kind of make up our collection that represent that focus on nature. Mm -hmm. So the first one, which is really the foundation of the color palette, is called Vegetarian. And it really lives up to its name. It's a really rich, leafy green. Um, it's beautiful in any place that you want to create energy and promote gathering. So thinking about, you know, potentially dining rooms are a great place to use this. Kitchen cabinets um, are not, is another place to consider using this really rich, sophisticated, leafy green. That's the pretty. Color. It's dark, but it's still kind of lively. Mm -hmm. I like that. It, yeah, I know. It's got all of undertones to it, but it definitely doesn't go drab. Yeah. The second color is uh, Rediscover. This is a light, um, obviously a softer shade of green. It harmonizes nicely with Vegetarian. Um, this color right here is, um, you know, it's more of a warmer sage color. And so any place that you want to incorporate freshness or a feeling of, of renewal and, and cleanliness, this is a great color for that. It's a great accent. You can see, you can use it in combination with Vegetarian for a, mo a more monochromatic look if you want to start to layer uh, colors within the, the same hue in your home. Um, so think about this also in like guest bedrooms or laundry rooms, any place that you want to really add some freshness. I like it. Yeah, I like that idea too. Uh huh. So we've got Desiree. Um, this is our actually our color of the year. So for 2022, purples uh, represent healing and renewal. Um, and so that was why we chose this color to represent 2022. But also taking cues from nature, this is like, you know, the crocuses that we're starting to see popping up in our gardens. So it's a beautiful accent for um, like a potting shed door or uh, window boxes that are bursting with bloom. So it really tends to bring out um, the beauty of nature around you. Cool. Also, when you look at these colors together, so greens and purples are secondary colors, meaning that they're made from primary colors. When you put primary colors together, you get secondary colors. So there's an, a built-in harmony between purples and greens. Ah, oh, okay. fascinating. I love a little that. color theory United for you today. Science. Yeah, I was going to say, I love the color theory behind the, the palette. It helps me look more put together than I am when I just do it on my own. <laughs> And then the last, last but not least is yellow umbrella. This is a very uh, fresh uh, yellow green color. Um, we recommend this also for an accent. Um, you know, colors for front doors have been trending more towards yellows in years past. Um, so this is, this one is a little bit more energetic and acidic. I just want to show you guys something for comparison back to the color theory. So this color right here is called Lioness. This is our color of the year for 2020. And when, when I put it up against yellow umbrella, you can see that it's got um, just much a little bit uh, redder undertones. Yeah. So this is a, a solid choice that you'll see a lot around um, Portland and surrounding areas for a front door color. But if you want to be a little bit edgier, a little bit more contemporary, push the boundary a little bit, maybe take a, a bit more of a risk. Um, be unexpected with a yellow for your front door. Think about yellow umbrella. It's got those greenish undertones to it. Oh my gosh, that's great. I love the yellow front door. Those are so pretty. They look so inviting. I really liked the uh, the Desiree color, the way it was, it kind yeah. of popped with the uh, that, that black, darker kind of background, the and building the there. I, yeah, I thought that that really showed nicely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Absolutely. the cool thing about- I was gonna show you guys. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, Emily. I was gonna say though, the cool thing about Miller Paint is you guys have these awesome showrooms with all these different color tools and, and experts there that can really help kind of, you know, bring a, a project to life maybe better than what you can picture yourself. 
Right, exactly. Well, we know, I mean, this is our favorite time of year because it's kickoff to spring painting season. Um, but we know that it can be, you know, really overwhelming for people. There's, you know, thousands of colors to choose from, which can be a lot. Um, so what we recommend is heading to Miller Graham's Instagram feed at Miller Paint or heading to our website at MillerPaint.com. There's tons of ins color inspiration there. We uh, showcase all real Pacific Northwest homes so you can see how people are combining colors and using colors so you can start to put ideas together. We also recommend that you head into one of your local Miller Paint stores. We've got a ton of color tools there to help you start to formulate your palette. So we kind of give you a head start on combining colors. We also have extremely knowledgeable, friendly staff that will take you through every part of the project from the projects that you need to helping you create a color palette. And then we also, you know, if you're still stuck and you're still feeling like you need a little bit of help, we do have uh, color experts that you can schedule with either a virtual cons consultation or in-home. So if you just go to millerpaint.com, you can schedule and we'll send a color expert out to help you. Okay, I feel like you're I feel like you're talking directly to me, Poochie, because we've <laughs> talked about my kitchen cabinets before and uh, and you'll be happy to know they uh, still have not been painted. I have an analysis paralysis for sure, so I'm gonna need some help. Well, you might want to check out vegetarian. Okay. <laughs> I like it. I do I right, I really like that green. So yeah, that I'm, was. I'm gonna need to go parouse uh, more more pictures online. Oh that that's awesome. Well yeah. uh Poochie, thank you so much for your time this morning. Really appreciate it and uh, some good ideas as we move into spring. Mm -hmm. Great to see you guys. Thanks so much. All you right, too. take care. Take care.